Another uh, supposed Bible contradiction is found between Exodus 33 um, and John 1.18. Now, Exodus 33 verse 11 says, Thus the Lord spoke, uh, used, thus the Lord used to speak to Moses face to face, just as a man speaks to his friend. Um, when Moses returned to the camp, his servant Joshua the son of Nun, a young man, would not depart from the tent. And then in John 1.18 says, No one has seen God at any time, the only begotten God who is in the bosom of the Father, he has explained him. So it seems like there's a little bit of a little bit of a contradiction here, because it says, Hey, uh, Moses talked to God face to face, and then John says, Nobody can see God. Well, the first clue as to what the situation is if is if you read the the verse itself in John, it says, No one has seen God at any time. Now, okay, alright. But then it says right after that, the only begotten God who is in the bosom of the Father, he has explained him. In other words, Jesus, through Jesus, we have encountered the Father, okay? So, although nobody has seen the Father, through Jesus, we have seen God. So, once again, now, how does that apply to Exodus 33, 11? Well, we can know that although God the Father did not manifest his presence to Moses, because that would have killed him, um, Jesus did. Now, remember, Jesus is God. The only difference is um, Jesus appears throughout the law as an angel or sometimes as a person, um, to, and he evidently can be seen by people. Now, the difference then would be in uh, roles, whereas the Son is, throughout history has encountered people, I guess would be the right word, uh, the Father has not. So when we get to heaven, that will change. But for the time being, that's like, that's the way things are. Now, if you look further in the same chapter in Exodus 33, it says in verse 20. Now, remember, this is the same chapter. Now, if they were going to contradict themselves, they they wouldn't have done it in the same chapter. It would have been something that it would have been harder, or, I mean, easier to overlook. Uh, for instance, in a different book or something like that. So then in Exodus uh, 33, 20, it says, but he said, you cannot see my face, for no man can see me and live. So it sounds like this is contradicting with just a few verses before. But once again, when we take in John, into account John 1.18, where it clearly says that through Jesus, the Father has been made known, we can know that, okay, first off, he's talking about difference here, so this points forward to Jesus. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, the, Jesus is in, in the Old Testament. Jesus is... Born as, a, born as a man is not in the Old Testament, but Jesus is in the Old Testament, and he reveals himself in little ways. But the Old Testament didn't give clarity on these things. So when the time of the New Testament came, and Jesus came in flesh, he explained things. Um, so anyways, but then with that aside, there is still another point here. Um, besides the whole Jesus aspect, Exodus 33, 20 is talking about God's full glory because even when Jesus made himself known his glory was I don't want to know set aside it maybe is a good word um, uh, toned down um, and he became a man um, if he were to reveal himself in his full glory to us we would die so when we reach heaven things are going to be different we're not going to be in the same body with that being said, um, there's really no contradiction here. So he's more talking about, I can't show you my full glory. That's why he says, I will hide my face, but I'll still pass by from you. Now, once again, we're using human terms here, and our vocabulary, vocabulary is somewhat limited. So he's more saying, I will still show you my glory, but not my full glory. Um, the face is more indicative of, of the fullness of his glory. Um, so if you read that verse in its context, especially the verses before it, then Moses said, I pray... Uh, I pray you show me your glory. And he said, I myself will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will pro proclaim the name of the Lord before you. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will show compassion on whom I will show compassion. And then the verse, but he said, you cannot see my face, for, for no man can see me and live. So I will show you my glory, but not all of it. Um, so once again, those are all easily rectified, and once again, no contradiction.